just wanted to give you a real quick example of, of what um, this a discussion might be um, in talking with, um, say, um, a homeowner who I'm designing their house for or addition for. And I'll just use this very uh, e easy example about the difference between a monolithic slab and a stem wall. And so in, in the process of designing uh, these projects, um, the, uh, I'll, I'll have many discussions that it will be similar to this one that I'll share with you now about types of foundations. And so basically this is like fa foundation class 101. And so um, the, the pros and cons of, of both of those different foundations, um, and we'll kind of start with uh, a monolithic slab. And so if you do a mono, uh, then of course the, the, the construction style is, is that uh, you, the, the concrete man has to go ahead and form up these boards all the way around the perimeter and he's got to have these forms just perfect and in, in, in place and so that and 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 that the, that the structure is is square uh, the building is square and that um, the the form boards have to be just perfect and level and and then uh, then the size of the foundation uh, because uh, a, fa a, a monolithic slab will have a found it foundation portion portion of it that can be uh, 16 to 8 inches, 18 inches deep and 16 inches wide on the bottom and then it goes in an angle up until where the slab part is which is 4 inches. So you got to think about how much concrete is involved in, in that type of foundation. Um, when it's 18 inches by 16 inches wide and do the calculations as to how much concrete that, would, that you would have to use to do a monolithic slab. Well, then when you take in the factor of the dirt that has to be brought in for a mono. Um, so at you, 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 they call it a, a building pad where you, before you do anything else, you bring all this dirt in you bring, and, you, and you build this mound of dirt. And so you're bringing in all this dirt just for this, this mono and, and then it's all new soil so it's uncompacted. But, uh, 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 other than say a bobcat or um, a front end loader kind of compacting it as they're uh, you know making this mound and and so the um, uh, uh, so you have all this uh, filter that you have to kind of factor in when you do a model and then the other thing is um, that when the concrete cr trucks come to port and he backs his truck up quite often it, uh, they can easily bump these uh, the sides of these um, of the monolithic slab so that if he if the concrete truck bumps it and then they go to port well I mean that you, you can see uh, that the form boards the concrete's going to be off either it's going to be pushed in or out or maybe the forms got disturbed in some way to where now the actual monolithic slab is is somewhat off and um, and of course they they doctor it up when they go to stucco in it so where the block wall meets this the slab they'll do some extra stucco work there and so you get into those kind of things about monolithic slabs whereas if you go to a stem wall just to think about the amount of concrete difference between a mono and a stem wall and it's like the, on a stem wall it, it only needs to be eight inches high and 20 inches wide that is it for a, for a, a stem wall foundation eight inches deep and 20 inches wide versus what I what I just explained about the monolithic slab being 18 inches deep and 16 inches wide and it tapers up to the slab so the volume of concrete between a, a mono and a stem wall is it, just remarkable how, how much more concrete you have to use just to get a, a monolithic slab. So you have that cost involved into it. And then on a stem wall foundation, you be, after, you, after that, uh, the, the, the foundation that I just described, an 8 by 20 is poured, then you, you lay up your stem wall which can consist of say one or two courses of regular block and then a chair block and then you bring your fill dirt in 
but you don't have to have all this extra fill around the perimeter like you do on a monolithic slab. So you don't have you don't have the cost of all that extra fill like you do on a mono. So uh, the only dirt that has to be brought in is for the inside part of the of the stem wall. Plus the stem wall is truer because when a when a block mason is laying the uh, block walls on a stem wall, he can he can make up for any differences in the foundation of a stem wall foundation. And as he's laying his courses of block, it gets truer and truer to where once he comes to the chair block, which is the slab height of the uh, of the of the house or the addition, um, then he, you've got a very true and square and level you know the block work so that you can pour your slab now and there's and you don't uh, uh, and so you you use less concrete for a stem wall for the foundation you use less fill dirt for a stem wall and you could have a more truer and straighter and and more levels concrete slab by having a stem wall.